T minus three minutes, three minutes to launch. TLS to go for ET LO2 pressurization. TLT OTC, clear caution, warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. OTC, caution and warning memory are clear, no unexpected errors. Copy. Atlantis OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. That's it, Mark. T minus two minutes, two minutes to launch. Yeah, let's go for ET LH2 pressurization. T minus one minute and counting. Standing by for the handoff from the firing room computer to the Atlantis ground launch uh, or uh, onboard computers, ground launch sequencer to the onboard uh, flight computers. And the handoff has occurred. Atlantis's computer is now controlling. 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. 10. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Three main engines up and burning. Two. One and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening in a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. Roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72% beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. All three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully-fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid. Solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Coming up on uh, 1 minute 45 seconds, standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. 
Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed. All three electrically producing fuel cells are uh, operating as expected, as are the hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units. Two orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of uh, Atlantis now assisting with uh, the ascent performance. Those engines will burn for a little less than three minutes. Two minutes, 45 seconds, Atlantis, 61 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis, Houston, two-engine Maroon. Copy, two-engine Maroon. Atlantis can reach Maroon in Spain in the event of a single-engine failure. However, all three are still uh, operating as expected. Atlantis, Houston, for Brent, high-load duct heater to Alpha slash Bravo. High-load duct heater, Alpha slash Bravo. Good copy, and we're seeing some ice in the high-load fess. Copy, we'll watch it. 